Speaking of new trailers, <laughs> the first official trailer for the upcoming Chloe Grace Moritz film, The Fifth Wave, has just hit the web. In The Fifth Wave, set in the present day, four waves of increasingly deadly attacks have left most of Earth decimated. Against a backdrop of fear and distrust, 16-year-old Cassie is on the run, desperately trying to save her younger brother. As she prepares for the inevitable and lethal fifth wave, Cassie meets a young man who may become her final hope. <clears throat> Schnapp Byrus saw the trailer for the fifth wave. Kind of reminds me of like a hodgepodge of a lot of other science fiction films. You got some District Nine in there. You got an <laughs> got Independence some v, Day. V yeah, you in got there. some V. You got a whole. I mean, it's and you know what though? Even though it's got all these other elements, I kind of I buy the trailer. You know, it was one of those things where I was like, a fun action sci-fi film that has element. Even they they live and in, uh, invasion of the body snatchers. It has all these elements just like thrown into a blender. And sometimes these movies are great. The blender is a blender movie. Like Doomsday was one of these blender movies where it like had zombies. It had Escape from New York. It had all these different weirdo elements. Then it even had Excalibur with Malcolm McDowell with that. You shall fight in the Knights Court. I don't know if you saw that movie. It's crazy. I love <laughs> was it. Was Rena uh, uh, Rona Mitra in that one? Yeah, she was. That's and right. Uh, yeah, she, that, yeah, and she had the weird electronic eye. Directed by Neil Marshall. What's up, yo? The of, Descent. And he also did get tons of the best episodes of Game of Thrones. <laughs> anyway, that's what this trailer could be. I'm not saying the movie the is. Fifth Wave is the next Excalibur. It's you the ninth it. wave. It's the next and, Game of Thrones. And, yeah, and also Creed is doing the musical soundtrack to it, but it's all like it's uh, with midi chlorians. Midi chlorians. <laughs> yeah. Mark, uh, the Fifth Wave trailer. I buy it. It looked awesome. I I did the I myself a disservice because I read the description of what it was before I put the trailer on and just reading the thing I thought oh this sounds like just they're trying to milk some sort of you know young adult hunger games ish vibe out of this but watching the trailer I was like this looks awesome this looks like a, a well done spectacle movie as well I don't know that you can predict the outcome as far as what the fifth wave is going to be it looks like earth is getting the crap beat out <laughs> yeah. of it already now we got a fifth wave I can't believe anybody has survived to get to see a fifth wave I don't know if anybody's going to survive after the fifth wave I like that aliens can take the form of humans and now we don't even know who to trust right. you know that either Leah Schreiber or Ron <laughs> Livingston is going to be one of the aliens you so. know one of those yeah. two is going to be the aliens just a matter of which one I sell the trailer. Oh, it did man. nothing for me. <laughs> to me, it looked like an advanced advertisement for a low-budget sci-fi network TV show. What? To be honest, I <laughs> didn't do it for me. Now, that's just the trailer. The movie might be awesome. Let's see when a second trailer comes out. Maybe it'll change my mind. But I watched the trailer. I didn't feel any action. I didn't feel any excitement. I didn't feel any tension. I didn't. Nothing drew me in. Like we're just talking about the Creed trailer, where they had all these amazing shots and moments in the trailer. They just each step drew me one more step in. I didn't feel any of that for this trailer. So for me personally, I'm going to have to be the odd one out and give it a sell. I was going to say, like, if they edited, I see what you're, why you're saying that, because certain scenes, like where they show the tidal waves knocking everything out, they they cut it in such a way they should have been like, and then the third wave, they devastated humanity and then shown all of that at once. Mm. I mean, yeah, but they're, I te like they're, they're teasing us here, gentlemen. This movie yeah. comes out in 2016. They're just trying to. They're just. They're just putting their their toe in the pool a little well, bit. I know. Here, I know? know. I'm hey, just saying it didn't. It didn't yeah. increase my anticipation for the movie. Put your personally. toe in the pool. 